All right, what's going on YouTube? Sorry guys, it's been so long since I posted a video. I've been slammed, I've been busy with work and all kinds of other life. I had to finish that 10 mil article, which I got done. But today, I'm gonna be doing an article on this 7PRC right here. I'm stoked to be doing it. Um, article, we'll do some videos and stuff, but this is a Kelby and very, very nice rifle. It's carbon fiber. 26 inch barrel, I believe, if I remember right. I'm gonna go over all that um, in a second. And then we'll talk about what I'm gonna be putting on for optics. Uh, but the bolt is nice and smooth, nice and long, it's a attachable bag. If I can figure out how it works, there you go. It drops right out nice and clean. So this is the Kelby Nanook uh, PH. Um, I'm gonna read off of this little sheet here, like you can see right there, by Kelby, Kelbleys. Um, a higher level of accuracy. So I'm very curious, excited to shoot this. This thing comes, it, this thing is amazing. This is a top tier lightweight hunting rifle. Um, let's read what it says here. Muzzle rated 5 8 by 24. As you can see on the end there, we have a muzzle brake, right? Uh, Kelby claw muzzle brake included. So there's that, the brake on there. Curious to see how that does with recoil. This is 7PRC with a look. This is a light rifle too. Bix Nandy trigger set at a super crisp two and a half pounds. I will agree. This thing, so gun is empty. It's been checked a bunch of times. The trigger is very nice. This is my this is my first uh, Bix Nandy trigger, and with you know, with safety, you know, it's basically Remington set kind of seven hundred blueprint here. Uh, fluted bolt body, integral uh, two point five recoil lug. Integral 35 MOA Picatinny rail. That's nice. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 0.75 bolt diameter. Uh, rifle weighs 7 pounds, 10 ounces. A black nitrate finish on action for extreme durability and increase in slickness on bolt cycling, which I agree with. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. Kelby lifetime warranty. So it's a lifetime warranty on this rifle for the price that you paid for this. Um, you know, that's, that's nice. The stock is a Manners Pro Hunter stock, Elite Tactical Shell Tommy, uh, Bahama Finish, Dual Ambidextrous Thumb Shelf, right here. As you can see, Dual Ambidextrous Thumb Shelf. What else? Let's see, let's keep going here. There's lots of goodies on this rifle. Uh, zero exposure bipod rail. So, let's go ahead and, we'll go ahead and turn the... So you can see bipod and arca right here, I believe. Uh, let's see, keep going. Uh, zero exposure bipod rail, flush arca mount right there. You can see that. A QD sling cup, uh, sling cup uh, right there. You can see that. Very nice. That is nice to get rid of the sw swing studs or swivel studs. I'm a big fan of that. Um, heavy palm contour uh, and released flat trigger crown. Let's see here. Oops, I went down to the barrel. Uh, that's not where I'm supposed to be looking. Supposed to be still on stock. Uh, let's see. Q uh, QD sling cups. We talked about that. Fully glass bedded with pillars. And, uh, Hawkins M5 uh, DBM. And so, very nice stock. Um, I, I really like the Tommy Bahama finish is what they call it. Very nice. You can see right there. Manor stock. Let's talk about the barrel. The barrel is this bad boy right here. The barrel is a preferred carbon barrel, uh, ultimate weight savings, free floated barrel, precision air gauged 5 8 by 24 thread. We were talking about 26 inch length, uh, heavy palm contour, and recessed flat crown. So that's it's just a nice looking rifle. I'm a big fan of that. The action is the... The Nook Action All Integral 35 MOA Picatinny, uh, body made of 416R, bolt made of 4140, includes a thread drop bolt knob. As you can see right here, I do like the bolt. It is nice. Um, proven high accuracy, two lug design, proper ignition proven by over 90 world accuracy records. So they're, they got a lot to brag about. 
And then this, this rifle comes in 300 PRC, 7 PRC, 300 Nora mag, and 338 Lapua mag. And this is, of course, in 7 PRC. Stoked about this. Going to do an article on it. I'm hoping maybe if I can shoot a bear with it, that'd be awesome. We'll see. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice, very nice hunting rifle. I'm still debating if I'm going to put a can on the end. I think I would like to try to do it with the muzzle brake and go from there. But this stuff should shoot lights out. I have some federal stuff to shoot for 7PRC and some Hornady stuff to shoot. And then, of course, we'll get into lots and lots of hand loads. Um, the optic I'm going to be putting on it. Track optic. And it's going to be the torque. 34 millimeter, 4x25x50. Four, four by by first focal point, MOA, ELR. So, a little bit of a heavier scope, but I'm okay with that. Um, makes it, you kind of get away with a nicer, in my opinion, a nicer, more balanced scope. When you go with such a light hunting rifle and so it's gonna be nice uh there i have not shot this rifle as you can see i'm very excited to review it um as you can see i've got kind of like a new little area this is kind of where i'm gonna be doing some stuff and where i'm not gonna be on the bench talking about stuff and so i really wanted to get an area clean where i can just do stuff like this so uh let me know what you guys think let me know if you're excited about some 7 prc stuff because i know a lot of hate has been being talked on 7 prc and i'm here to prove that 7 prc is still <laughs> A very good cartridge. Uh, it's it's uh, it's it is what a lot of what Hornady says it is. So uh, you know that being said, some of the Hornady ammo is a little slower. But they've said, yeah, that's because the original powder that they used. Blah 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 blah. We all know the story. I'm um, excited to run some Vitavorti N560 in this and get some good results and a bunch of other stuff. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys are excited for some 7 PRC coming with the Kelbley. Nook, uh, Nanook PH. So that's the rifle. Elevate your hunt. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.